Hey coaches and welcome to my channel where I discuss the perfect play football system. The perfect play football system is the most cutting edge uh, modern day spread offensive system that gives you creativity and flexibility to uh, create the offense you want to create. It also has all the answers to whatever the defense may be doing to you. Um, it is by far the best system that I have ever used. Uh, it is a system that has enabled uh, teams to win more games than they have in school history. It's a system that has allowed more teams uh, to get to the Final Four of the playoffs, to get to the state semifinals, uh, to get deep into the playoffs for the first time, to host a playoff game for the first time, to have a winning season in 24 years, to break offensive records, to take a running back and convert him to a quarterback, and in one year, he breaks the passing records that had been established at the school. A school that had won a state championship. A school rich in tradition. The perfect play football system. The greatest system in offensive football today. Please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Bang that bell for those notifications. And let's get right into it. Today we're going to talk about the bubble screen. It's a very simple play. Everybody uses it now, uh, but the way I want to talk about it today hopefully will give you some insights into it. Here's some of my contact information. Um, uh, first of all, Perfect Play Football is sponsored by Game Changer Fundraising. Uh, that is a fundraising system that I use also. I use it as a head football coach for 18 years. Uh, contact me through Twitter or through email at perfectplayfootball at gmail.com. I want to emphasize to you once again that the perfect play football system is the best system around. It is the most flexible. It is the most creative. It will be as creative as you are, whatever you want to make it out to be. In this system, I will teach you how to become your own offensive guru. Uh, don't make the same mistake I made for many, many years. I would go to clinics, and clinics are nice to go to. I enjoyed going to clinics. But a lot of times I would learn just enough to come back home put the concept in and get myself into trouble. I wouldn't have all the answers. With the perfect play football system, I guarantee you, you will have all the answers. You will become your own offensive guru. A little bit about me. First of all, I've been in high school football for 36 years. Uh, the perfect play football system began as a consulting type system last year in 2019 season. I worked with two high schools. One of those schools had the first winning football season in 24 years. They won more games in the history of the school that last, this past year. The other team made it to the state semifinals. Uh, they hadn't won a second round playoff game uh, since 2011. And uh, that's the team that we converted a running back to quarterback and he broke many records. Both teams improved their points per game, their yardage per game, broke many individual passing uh, single season records, single game records, and so forth. Also, as an uh, offensive coordinator at Mount Tabor High School, where I implemented this system, uh, we went undefeated on JV and varsity football for two years, two conference championships. Um, we also made deep runs in the playoffs to the uh, state semifinals, Final Four of that. Once again, records were broken. One year with a passing quarterback, the second year with a running quarterback, both years records were broken, lots of football games won, lots of celebrations, great year. And once again, Game Changer Fundraising this year, I helped raise over $100,000 for different football teams around the state of North Carolina. Okay, let's get into the uh, video that we're going to discuss today. This is the bubble screen. Uh, we're going to go from a uh, three by one formation, trips to the field, Single receiver to the boundary. In this look, uh, we have a middle closed defense, a 4-4 look, 4-2-5, whatever you want to call it, uh, middle closed secondary. Uh, we know pre-snap, the quarterback knows uh, that by this alignment, um, they are a man short to the boundary, and the quarterback is going to get the ball to the boundary as quickly as he can. Running counter. Uh, I'm sorry, he's going to get the ball to the perimeter as quickly as he can. Running counter to the boundary, bubble screen to the perimeter. In this example, we're going to stalk by number one on the corner, stalk by number two on the overhang, 
and bubble by number three. His job, number two receiver, is to get on the outside shoulder, try to pin the overhang defender inside. Uh, the overhang defender's gap should be this gap here, and the corner should have this gap here. And then, of course, he's chasing inside out, and he's chasing inside out. These guys are going to be left unblocked, allowed to chase, allowed to chase. All right, so we have them outnumbered. The ball's going to the perimeter. We know that immediately pre-snap. Okay. Get the ball out quickly to the perimeter, get our blocks. This is a very good block getting leverage on his outside shoulder. Now they're not just a man short, but they're also a gap short, and we're able to get downfield. Great stalk job of stalking here on number one. Just fighting, fighting, fighting. Keep your hands inside. Here we have a quick exchange, but he knows pre-snap that it's just a mesh. We're going to get the ball out on the perimeter. He pulls it and gets it out as quickly as possible. All right, once again, here's the play from the beginning. Counter to the boundary, bubble screen, got him outnumbered to the field. Now, this was against a team that has won uh, two state championships, back-to-back -back state champions. All right, here we have uh, another example of uh, the bubble screen. Same setup here. This is actually against the same team just the following year. Uh, we have trips to the field, single receiver to the boundary. Um, this time we're running a G dart play up in, in the uh, internally, but don't you have to worry about that. So you still see a middle closed, 4-4 four, four look. They've what I call pull the rope with their linebackers, uh, plus this guy way out here to try to help with the bubble. Uh, once again, now this the, the, what we're doing differently this year is that we are going to cross block, which you see there. So what we're doing is we're going to cross block. We're going to bring number one down on the first defender inside, the overhang defender, and we're going to pin him inside. Number three has to arc to the corner. And then number two is running the bubble uh, to, to uh, get outside. So we're meshing with Dart. The quarterback already knows it. You can see by looking at his uh, body posture here, it's going to be a quick mesh. Uh, not really even a mesh at all, a proximity fake. And then he's going to launch the ball and get it outside to the perimeter as quickly as we can because they do a poor job of, of covering down, number one, they're a man short. And number two, uh, they're going to get in the wrong gaps just like in the previous uh, video. So here we see, once again, the down block on the overhang defender. He should be fitting outside of that guy. Okay, outside of that blocker. He should be fitting outside, but he doesn't. The corner should come up and fit outside uh, and make the ball funnel back inside to this guy who's a free runner. Uh, he's also a Division One football player now. And we are able to out-leverage him with a 5'5", 130-pound uh, receiver uh, on this play. So let's go back to the beginning, check it out. We crack, we arc, the corner comes inside, he gets in the wrong gap. So we're able to take the ball to the boundary like we did before here. Pin him inside. Once again from the beginning. So now we've pinned this, the overhang defender inside. The corner has come inside of the arc block. So now uh, my running back, that huge 5'5", 130-pound receiver that I have, can now bounce it on the sideline and get going. This was the overhang plus linebacker, number eight there that you see. And we let him run and the free safety run. We figure the free safety should be the guy making the tackle on this play. We know that in advance. Let's see what ends up happening. Plus linebacker gets out leveraged and he ends up chasing him from behind and getting him. But really the free safety, the guy that we're going to uh, uh, not block, the unblocked defender is the free safety. You should know who's going to make the tackle before every play. 18 should make the tackle. Number eight is just pursuing uh, the play. So once again, last time, full play, crack, cross block on the perimeter, get the ball outside. And once again, this is a team that uh, uh, is a state championship team. They've won it uh, twice in a row.
All right, that concludes our video on the bubble screen. Um, this is, once again, the contact information. Uh, feel free to uh, contact me through Twitter or through my email at perfectplayfootball at gmail.com. Also remember that Perfect Play Football is sponsored by Game Changer Fundraising. And once again, thank you for watching the video. Please give me a thumbs up. Comments down below. Bang that bell for those notifications. Contact me through Perfect Play Football at gmail.com. Score points and have fun.